This week, boys golf takes on the Fox Valley Conference. Students dress up for Spirit Week. Juniors and seniors go head to head at Powder Puff. We open the Warriors Shack for the first time. MCHS Strength hosts a dad and daughter lift. And Warriors show their pride at the homecoming football game. All that and more on, on the, the Warrior, Warrior Weekly. Weekly. <laughs> and welcome to this week's edition of the Warrior Weekly, presented by Warrior Student Media. I'm Maddie Spencer. And I'm Riley Byron. Today, the upperclassmen battle a powder puff. We open up the brand new Warrior Shack, and the weight room welcomes the dads of MCHS. But first, our boys' golf team takes on the Fox Valley Conference in the annual FBC Golf Tournament. MCHS's boys' varsity golf team had their Fox Valley Conference Tournament on Thursday, September 21st. The McHenry Country Club hosted this year's tournament, making it the last home match of the season. The seniors on the team will be playing one last home tournament before their senior season comes to an end. Senior Braden Emilio expresses how he feels about his senior season coming to an end so quickly. It's sad because we all wish it was longer and the season only being like two months is very short and we all wish it was longer. It sucks last year, but i um, looking forward to play college golf and a new opportunity. Coaching a team that works separately from each other is one hard task. Mr. Ryan Ellison, the boys head coach, explains how he coaches a team that works separately from each other. I started coaching the boys golf team in 2007, which was my first year of teaching. Well, yeah, so golf is a very individual sport. However, uh, the team aspect of it, there's, you count four scores. So really you have to convey the message to your, to your team that, you know, every stroke counts. You can never count on just your top four guys to come in all the time with the best scores. Playing golf takes a lot of commitment. It takes hours and hours of practicing your swing to get the perfect shot. Senior Tanner Pullup talks about what his pre-prep practice looks like before a tournament. Um, I get to the range about an hour early, hit, the range, hit, hit a couple balls, and then 20 minutes before my tee time, I just putt for a little bit. The seniors give pieces of advice about the things they've learned throughout the years of being on the golf team to the underclassmen of golf. Not to be nervous, because when you're, ner when you're nervous, you tend to shoot bad and then you get in your head and then you, you can't focus on your next shot. Get good grades. It's big when it comes to college. Um, well, just to keep working hard and pushing for goals, doing whatever you can do to become better. Yeah, um, you know, your sophomore to junior year is where you can really make some leaps and bounds as far as lowering your scores. Along with the piece of advice from their head coach for the senior. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed you know, playing golf for free costs you a lot of money in the future. <laughs> the guys played their last tournament yesterday after winning the 3A regional championship. Be sure to congratulate them in the hallways when you see them on having an amazing season. Reporting for the Warrior Weekly were Ellie Matoshik, Ari Juarez, and Nate Gibson. The Manufacturing, Technology, and Industry Expo is tomorrow night at the Upper Campus from 6 to 8 p.m. Come hear from industry experts in these fields and potentially even earn some internships. Next, students come in costume every day during homecoming week to raise school spirit. MCHS students participate in Spirit Week, dressing up for a different theme every day building up to homecoming. Students dress up each day according to the themes picked by student council, allowing them to have fun, match with friends, and be creative with their outfits. Yes, I think the school does a good job of Spirit Week because it's just days of people dressing up and leading up to homecoming and so oh, tradition leading up to homecoming and it's just cool to do dress up and show your school spirit. I think Barbie Day has been my most exciting because it's just the Barbie movie and everyone likes the Barbie movie so it's cool. Senior Henry Thompson explains why Tuesday's Rhyme Without Reason was his favorite spirit day. Uh, I like participating in Spirit Week because it involves everybody and everybody gets to express themselves and people can just have a fun time while doing it. Uh, Rhyme Without Reason has been my favorite just because it's just cool seeing everyone matching and what themes people are doing. This year's Spirit Week was a huge success with many participating in showing school spirit. Reporting for the Word Weekly were Dennis Turkan, Colin Chanowski, and Kaden Munson. Now, last week, the juniors and seniors competed in the Clash of Classes at the annual flag football powder puff game. Warrior Student Media has a story.
This past Wednesday, the juniors and seniors went head-to-head -head for the Powder Puff football game at McCracken Field, with the seniors winning 32-25. Powder Puff coach Jordan Diener explained how it was the most put-together experience they've ever had with Powder Puff. It was the most organized we've ever had so far. We had all the girls split into four different groups on their team, so senior and then junior level, and they were instantly started going in practice right away. It's re really nice. Students who participate in Powder Puff get an experience they don't usually get to have. Hundreds of students come out every year to take part in this homecoming tradition. I mean, you can see it. There's almost 200 girls out here that maybe don't participate in something or haven't been in something yet this year. So it's homecoming week and they get to be involved, have t-shirts, get excited for a, a nice dance coming this weekend. Although this event may seem intimidating to some, coaches and staff ensure that students have a fun powder puff experience. Senior Federica Lombardini expresses her feelings going into the game. It was really good. At the beginning, I was a little scared because I've never played football, I've never watched football. But the team and the coaches were really amazing and I got along well with them and so it was really, really fun. Powderpuff creates a memorable experience for students and brings together our school during homecoming week. I think it's important because it's a moment where seniors unite together and juniors unite together and there are a lot of students who don't play, who come to watch the game and a lot of parents and I think it's a good moment also because you meet people that you never met before and you build relationship with them like friendships and I think it's, it's something really good that the school does. This year's Powderpuff game was successful in getting students excited for homecoming. Congrats seniors! Reporting for the Warrior Weekly, we are Coco Levesque, Emmanuel Sanchez, Jack Kearns, and Jeffrey Norris. McHenry County College is hosting a four-year college fair on Thursday from 5.15 to 7.30. Come learn about what four-year colleges could be right for you. Next, our Friday Night Lights had a little more shine than usual this past Friday, with the opening of our new Warrior Shack and another edition of our alumni tent. This past Friday, MCHS welcomed their first ever Warrior Shack and honored past MCHS alumni at the homecoming football game. Miss Vanessa Kirk, head of BPA, discusses the production and creative aspects of the Warrior Shack. So the trailer is like an extension of our school store that we're eventually going to have starting um, next school year. The trailer concept came about uh, more or less to get our spirit wear out into the community. As Kirk and Dr. McTagg cut the ribbon, they introduced the Warrior Shack as an annual display. Um, our biggest thing is like student created, student made, student sold. Um, so it's basically all kind of being done through our students. Our marketing class comes up with some concepts and ideas, and then we go to our Warrior Inc. Uh, students and have them finalize it or make the idea a little bit better. Along with the introduction of the Warrior Shack, the alumni tent ran once again. Mr. Carl Valianados talks about the alumni tent and the everlasting effects it has on the community of prior MCHS students. Um, we invite all of our members, all of our alumni co to come back to school and to come to the home football game and to unite um, under that tent. Um, our tent is, is bigger every year. We honor our, dis our new distinguished graduates. So this year we're going to be inducting two of them, two new ones. Their families will be there. We have uh, one reunion that's going to be there, the class of 1968. Um, and then we are also bringing back our winningest football team this year, our 1998 McHenry Warriors. Um, we're going to have about 100 uh, players with their families there. Um, and we're going to be honoring them uh, towards the end of halftime of the varsity games. Make sure to visit the Warrior Shack at any upcoming school event and continue to show up and show out for our MCHS Pride. Reporting for the Warrior Weekly were Allie Everhart, Vanessa Etherton, Lucia Smith, and Kate Watley. Each year, our strength room hosts the Dad and Daughter Lift, and this past Wednesday was no different. Warrior Student Media was there to watch the dads get a quick lift in. <laughs> This past Wednesday, Mr. John Bierbauer hosted a Dads and Daughters Lift, where girls can bring in their dads and work out with them. Bierbauer explains how this event became an MCHS staple. Some friends, actually Mikey Kurtz down in Florida, has been doing it for years, and I always admired his idea and thought that would be something I'd love to do at McHenry, so the idea actually came from another strength coach down in Florida. Events like this give families a chance to bond over shared interest. Father and daughter Alexis Wildey and Wayne Wildey enjoyed having this chance to lift with each other, followed by Mackenzie and Mark Ruiz. So for me personally, I've done weightlifting almost every single year, and he weightlifts at work, so it's just kind of thing that we can bond over. 
Yeah, it's something we kind of share in common, but I like the fact that I get to come in here and kind of see what she does, you know, throughout the year for zero hour and doing the strength training. And I think it's just a great bonding experience for daddy daughters to come in and do this. I'll tell you, uh, anything before what we do at home with lifting and what we tell them to go lift is all for them to be for them in the future. As the older you get, I'm just going to tell these guys, like, it doesn't get easier. So if you think you're going to go later, you're not. Like, start now. Good habits are always started. After hearing from these dads, here's what Bierbauer has to say about the event. I love seeing the pride that our dads have when they're in watching their daughters train um, and uh, seeing them get to demonstrate their strength and create those moments together. Um, it's a fun morning. I'm so glad we do it. If you're interested in joining MCH's powerlifting, contact Mr. Bierbauer. Reporting for the Warrior Weekly, where Olivia Townsend, Isabel Berry, Carter Neiman, and Lee McClellan. Finally, we cheer on the Warriors at one of the biggest games of the year, the homecoming football game. One of McHenry's landmark events, the homecoming football game, took place on Friday, September 29th. The Warriors came to the game with high hopes, putting a focus on growing as a team. So, I mean, we, you know, we've improved every week. You know, we're pretty excited about the week of practice that we had. Um, you know, we've had our struggles uh, as far as, as wins and losses go, but um, and with being a new program and stuff, it's going to be a process. But I really like where the kids are at right now, and, you know, we fully expect to go out and compete and, and try and win the game. A main goal of the homecoming week is to bring the entire community together to celebrate McHenry Pride. The week began with the parade down Green Street and was capped off by the homecoming game, where both students and community members packed the stands. I mean, this is a great first game to go to. There's, there's going to be way more energy, there's going to be way more people, way more spirit. And that's something I'm really looking forward to. Having the high energy as like people in front is huge because they're going to reflect off that. So I hope they reflect off the energy that I'm going to bring so that we can all like have a great, great time together. So um, it's not so much about the preparation. It's making sure that everybody's on the same page, like such as going to the tailgate. I mean, that gets everyone together. And as, as long as I know that we're all on the same page, that really gets us ready for game time. And yeah, I mean, that's basically it. Senior Caden Bunting claims the energy at the homecoming game is different from a normal game because of what the team is playing for. I mean, I don't know, some people just get so excited you know, this year is pretty special because we have one of our older teams from like the 1998 season, I think. They, they went pretty far in the playoffs and they, they won conference and all that. So I think that that will uh, elevate things a lot because we're playing for more than just our school and our community. We're playing for people that have come here before us and put everything on the line. One of the unique parts of the homecoming game is the halftime show. At the game, cheerleaders and dancers choose a partner for the routine and the marching band upgraded their performance. Reporting for the Warrior Weekly were Alina Noel, Madison Harvey, Grace Mueller, and Linda Moreno. That's all for today's show. Be sure to follow The Warrior Weekly on all social media platforms, including Twitter, Insta, and TikTok. For Riley Byron and all of Warrior Student Media, I'm Maddie Spencer. Have a great week, Warriors.